Hey designers, welcome back to another new video on our Figma UI Kit series. So if you are new here, I would suggest you to start with the first video on this playlist. You'll find the link for that on a card somewhere on the top because that'll give you a bit of a context on what we are doing on this series. But if you have been following me along so far, then we are good to go. So in our today's video, I'm going to show you how we can create an interactive toggle switch. So without any further ado, let's jump onto my screen and get started. So as you can see, this is the UI kit that I shared with you guys. And in this, this is the interactive component that we're going to create. So it has a couple of options or properties here one is the state you can change the state on off and then you can turn on or turn off the label right so let's see how to create this but let's quickly see a demo of this as well so i'm just going to delete this one and go to assets and drop in our toggle switch so i have it right here so i'm just going to pull this drop it here and align it to the center and we're going to create duplicates of it right so so that we can see how this behaves so in one i don't want the label to be there so i can switch it off and place it somewhere here and in the other case i will leave this at off so let's play this and now it's open so as you can see I can just turn on or turn off this one and this one works without a label and this one is with the label again right so that is pretty simple right that is how the toggle switch works and now let's quickly jump onto a fresh new file and see how we can create this so here we have a fresh new figma file the first thing I'm gonna do is just drop in a frame here and then I'm gonna drop in the reference image just to see what elements we need for the toggle switch so as you can see I just need a couple of elements here one is the label and one is this icon so this one you can actually create it or or as usual just get it from the icon library if you have one so the first thing we need here is a text which will act as a label so I'm just gonna give a text here that will be the label and then we're gonna use rectangles to create this so first thing we need here is a rectangle and for this I'm gonna give it let's say 52 by 26 and that should be good and I'm gonna make this rounded corners right so just increase the rounded corners from here once that becomes completely rounded and then you'll need a circle inside this which will be nothing but the circle that you see here right so for that I'm just gonna duplicate this one itself and give it equal height so let's say 16 by 16 should be good and we're gonna turn this into white so I'll just give white here and we're gonna place it right here equally balanced on all sides so as you can see I'm leaving five padding on all the sides and now we have an unselected state of a toggle here so I'm just gonna select both of these and group it or just uh, add it into a frame so I'm just adding it into a frame right here and now we have this one as well so select both of these and add it into an auto layout or you could directly add it into a component it's up to you but I would always suggest to add it into an auto layout because once you turn off the label the height of complete component gets readjusted to whatever size you want so I'm going to select both of these and add it into an auto layout for that I'm going to use shift a which is a shortcut for it and now we have this and you can set properties here to spacing mode as space between so what this does is as I increase the width of this one it will automatically stay on the left and the right so this is what we want and we'll set the width of this one to let's say 345 that is what we have been doing for the mobile layout and now we have the base component ready right so we'll just delete this one and let's have a look at this so this will act as a base component just select this and create a component and again click on it to add variants to it so we just need two variants for this right one will be your selected state and one will be your off state so this one is going to be your off state and let this be your on state so in this this basically has to go to the right so we're going to change it to the right with the same padding on all the sides okay that's that looks good and this should should turn to a primary color to show that it's selected so I'm just going to choose the primary color here so we have the states ready all we have to do is just select this and give the property values to it but before that select the main frame here and choose what name you want for the property select this and say you know state and the first one the state is going to be on and this is going to be off and that's it we are done uh, all we got to do is just add the prototype links to it so for that go to the prototype tab and once the user taps here you should be switching it to this state and here you could also use smart animate right so for that I'm gonna go here click smart animate and choose a value for it let's keep it at 300 milliseconds and you can leave this at you know quick or gentle that'll look good so I change it to that and then select this one here and link it back to the first state with the same properties right everything looks good so let's create a frame here drop in the component that we just created so I come here drop in the component that we have all right let me just increase the frames width and align it to the center right here and let's play this one so I'm just gonna hit on play if you can see that works beautifully right 
And to this, we also want to add another property where we could turn on and turn off the label. And let's see how to do that. Let me go back here. And for that, we need to just select the label in our component. And to the right, we have a property for the layer. So in the layer panel, we have an option here, which is to create a Boolean property. Just click on this and you could give any name to your property. This by default shows as show label. We could leave it at that and just say create property. And now if you check the frame or the design here, we have a new option or a new property where we could just switch off or switch on the label right and that is how you can create a simple interactive toggle switch in figma and in our next video we're going to see how to create the interactive tabs component so thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one